Welcome back to Mustang Valley Music. Today we're going to combine two of my favorite things, music and crafting. So I have already made one of these little shakers and this one has inside of it some colored rice. It's just an empty water bottle. And then I just took some things that I found around the house to decorate the outside of the bottle. Now you don't have to use that colored rice, but it makes it so fun. And I'm gonna show you a recipe for that. And if you look, I didn't fill it very full so you have room to shake. So here's just one example, but I'm going to show you today what we can use. If you can find any type of a clear bottle, that's where you might want to make this colored rice today. You don't have to. You can use the plain. And look for something that has a lid that screws on if you're going to use rice. If you do not find something, like I found this one. This was a Parmesan cheese container and I took the label off of it. Now I can still see through this so the colored rice would look really cool, but if you you notice this one pops up here this other side pops up here and if those pop open then the rice could go everywhere so if you find something like this that has a different type of a lid you could use things like this like this is some this is just some macaroni type noodles and I can put those in there that way if this lid kind of pops open and I have to fill this again it's not going to take this so I can still use those types of things. But I thought it'd be fun if I show you how to make this rice, because even if you don't use this rice today for a shaker, you could just use it to play with, because it's just very satisfying when you get in the rice. This is some rice that I made the other day, because it takes a little time to dry, but it's just so satisfying to play with it. Might be a good therapeutic thing to do for you. You could do all kinds of things with that rice. You could spell out words, you could do your sight words, you could do things for math, it doesn't even have to be music, but I thought that would be fun for you. So let's take a look at how you would make this. Here's the things you need. You just need a cup of rice, and it does need to probably be white. I've never tried it with brown, so I'm going to say white rice. You need a tablespoon. You've got to have a tablespoon of vinegar. Any color that you want of food coloring. Now you also are going to need a baggie because that's how we will mix it. And then you'll need a tray, like a cookie sheet. And then I just put some wax paper on it because you do have to set this for a while to dry. So here's what you do. You are going to open up this bag and put in one cup of rice. So I'm going to put the rice into this bag. After I have the rice in there, the next step is to put in the vinegar. Now the vinegar is going to have a little bit of a smell to it. It does kind of dissipate after a while after it dries, but it's pretty strong when you first put it in. So I'll put that into the bag. And then probably as dark as you want it is as much as you want to do, but I'm going to put about 20 drops. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Now you can put as much as you want in there if it doesn't turn as dark as you want. Now this is very important. You need to make sure that you seal the bag because you're going to be kind of shaking it around. So as I shake it, it's going to start turning that color. And I just mix it and squish it in my hand. Also very satisfying. And as it kind of gets to the color that I like, I'm going to kind of move it around to make sure I don't have any white. You can kind of see some places in there that it's still white. Just keep mixing it with your hands that way. Now you'll need a separate bag for every color that you want to do. Or you can mix colors like Mrs. Green just showed you how to do too. So now I kind of have it at the color that I want. So I'm going to open up this bag. And on this tray, I'm going to dump this out. They're not all going to come out. Some of them are going to stick to the bag. And woo, you can smell the vinegar, but it will go away. And then I just want to spread this out. Now, I can't use this right away. This will probably take uh, at least four hours to dry. If it's not too windy, you could put it outside once you get it all spread out. But probably the best is if you just leave it inside and set it to the side. But I want to show you how I put it in the bottle today. So this is the one that I made yesterday. So that's dried for 24 hours. So if I'm going to put it into this bottle, it's really hard to make it all go in this way and it just kind of makes a mess. So you have to use something called a funnel and you got to hold it up there and then you can dump in your rice. Now I got a pretty big bottle, so I can put almost all of that rice in this bottle. 
So that's in this bottle, but you see it's only about half full. Now I'm gonna put the lid on just to give it a test. Make sure it is on tight. I think I don't like that much in there because it doesn't actually make the sound I want. So I'm gonna pour some of that back out. Let's see if that one has a better sound to it. That one has a better sound, I think. You can feel it however much you want, but if it gets up to here, you're not gonna have any place for it to actually shake. So you want to make sure it's not full to the top so you get that shaking sound. Now, you see that on mine from before, I had mixed colors of rice, but I have to mix dry rice together. I can't put the wets together or those two colors will start absorbing each other and create a secondary color. So this one shakes pretty well and this one does too. It doesn't really matter the size, but then you might want to go someplace and maybe you can find things like this. Like I have, uh, I had some of these right here. They're just kind of little decorations. I found stickers. Um, I found these stickers too. Oh yes, and jewels. I love jewels. I have some kind of fancy tapes and I found also some of these letters that you could use and some ribbon. You just get creative how you want to do it. But it's almost, um, it's around Easter time. So I have these Easter eggs and this is another way that you can take some of this rice. If you pop these open and you put just a little bit of rice in there and then you shut it, it still makes a great shaker. However, you have got to make sure this is taped. So make sure you find a good tape, not scotch tape, but a good tape there. And you've got a shaker here too. So just get really creative and have a fun time because all of these shakers are super fun.